Hey guys, I'm here at Walmart. Let's check out what's new in the realm of skincare. One thing I wanted to chat with you about. So De La Cruz has a vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil, really popular remedy for softening and smoothing the skin. Now, as far as putting this on a scar, you have to know that it actually has been shown to be more harmful for scars in the long run via contact dermatitis. But vitamin E is an antioxidant. There are actually different forms of vitamin E and topicals, and it can help reduce oxidative stress that leads to what's called lipid peroxidation, basically damage of lipids in the cells in your skin. Um, so it, you know, it can definitely be beneficial and also helpful for improving the antioxidant levels in your skin, but the devil's in the details. I certainly don't recommend just cracking open a vitamin E capsule. And like I said, be wary of putting it on a scar, on a healing cut, a wound, because the studies show in the long run it actually can end up being worse for, for those things. What's this post-shave healing balm? Head, face, be bald. This has licorice root, which is actually a good ingredient in a moisturizer that you would apply after shaving because it helps cut down on redness and irritation and is good for the moisture barrier. This also has oat kernel extract, which is going to be moisturizing, soothing, has anti-inflammatory compounds. This has Arnica. So Arnica is something that is a homeopathic remedy. People make all sorts of claims around it none of which have been substantiated in uh, research trials and contact dermatitis to arnica is not out of the realm of possibility well if it isn't lumi i have a video all about this brand their commercials on youtube are always interesting to say the least the premise behind lumi deodorants is that they have mandelic acid and alpha hydroxy acid in theory that helps to keep the skin barrier acidified may help cut down on the colonization of bacteria that break down your sweat and lead to odors. But you wanna be really careful when it comes to putting products in sensitive areas like you know, the rear end territory. Because of the nature of the skin there, it's a lot more vulnerable to irritation. You have skin on skin contact, occlusion, sweat, moisture trapping, and friction, all of which can make products a lot more irritating in the long run. So just be aware of that. Some people swear by it, those Lumi deodorants. Deodorants, remember, they just deodorize, cut down on odor, but they don't actually address hyperhidrosis or sweating. And it's the breakdown of sweat, like under your arms, your palms, your soles, or your feet, that lead to body odor. So antiperspirants, in contrast to deodorants, they work to cut down on the outflow of sweat. Most deodorants are essentially fragrance in a stick, but that type of product is a deodorant that theoretically may help cut down on the types of bacteria on the skin. Walmart has really been stepping in when it comes to these decorative nails. I mean, they have a huge selection of artificial nails and I have to caution you, you can easily develop an allergy to the adhesives in these and cause um, a contact dermatitis not only around your nails, but can easily be transferred to your eyelids and cause an eyelid dermatitis. But oh my goodness, aren't those sweet? The little pineapple, palm tree, and watermelon. Walmart has quite the selection of nail accessories. Now you wanna be careful if you are somebody who is dealing with foot fungus, you wanna make sure that you are not sharing your nail clippers, you disinfect them each time because you can easily end up getting the fungus in your nails um, toenail fungus is a common issue. Fingernail fungus, on the other hand, is not. If someone tells you they think you have fingernail fungus, like a doctor, um, instead you should question them about other potential causes of dystrophic nails, like lichen planus. Commonly gets missed. Someone will just tell you, oh, you've got nail fungus. But it's not that common on fingernails. See, like, it's always misleading with these clean beauty brands because they like to fear monger aluminum, but basically what they'll sell is a deodorant. Aluminum is never in deodorant. It's an antiperspirant. This is really just a stick of perfume at the end of the day. Um, it doesn't actually 
reduce odor significantly. It just kind of masks it. At least the Lumi product, they attempt some kind of mechanism. These clean beauty brands love to talk about detoxing the armpits. It's not a real thing. <laughs> Sweat is not a main way of detoxifying the body at all. Your liver is the one that does the detoxifying. Sweat is mostly water and some salts. Sure, trace amounts of things could be detected in sweat, but that's not a primary way of releasing toxins out of the sweat. Um, now, kaolin and clay masks can absorb moisture and sebum from the skin surface, but they really shouldn't deodorize significantly. Ooh, a bourbon scented soap. It's really nice. Bay rum. I like this Duke Cannon brand. 100% natural lip balm. So these little Rebels lip balms, they have coconut oil, which is actually a good moisturizing ingredient. People claim that it's comedogenic, but there's really no, no, no study pointing to coconut oil as being comedogenic. It's, it's really not true that coconut oil is comedogenic, but for some people it does appear to aggravate like their acne, but it's actually a good moisturizing ingredient. The main problem with these lip balms is that they have flavorant in them, and that's a common irritant for the lips, common allergen irritant in lip balms and lip care products. Coconut oil is also really good for the hair. Most of these hair oils have silicones in them, which help with shine and slip, as well as some actual like plant oils. This one's got coconut oil and olive oil. Highly recommend this anti-dandruff shampoo from Shea Moisture. It has salicylic acid, which is good for exfoliating the scalp of flaky buildup and helping to cut down on dandruff flares. I've also used this. If you're someone whose hair type doesn't tolerate frequent shampooing, which is the recommendation for helping to cut down on flares of dandruff, I, I suggest trying this out. You can, you can actually, oh, this is a pre-wash, Never mind. They have, in this line, they have a leave-in treatment, comes in a similar bottle of this, that you can, massage in and leave in during the day um, but this is kind of taking advantage of short contact therapy with the salicylic acid you put it on leave it on the scalp for a while and then I guess wash it out before you know as part of your shampooing it can really help cut down on the flaky oily buildup I really like this Dove Dermacare scalp zinc pyrithione anti-dandruff shampoo it is um, it's really good some anti-dandruff shampoos, like Head and Shoulders, they can be, they can be a little drying, but this Dub one is is a great option. Here's a castor oil pomade. Castor oil can help to moisturize the hair strands. It's very viscous, um, so it can cut down on breakage and help with hair strand fragility. You have to be careful though with pomades around your hairline and on your on the sides of your face. If it gets on your face, it can cause palmate acne, aggravate uh, the formation of closed comedones. Blue Lizard Sport SPF 50 water resistant sunscreen is pretty good. It's a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it has inorganic, aka zinc and titanium dioxide, as well as organic, aka chemical octisalate ingredients for sun protection. No fragrance, Slight cast, but not as heavy a cast as an all mineral sunscreen. A little shiny. It's $15. Equate has an SPF 50 all mineral sunscreen lotion, water resistant 80 minutes. This is likely gonna leave a cast and I would be willing to bet it's on the shiny side, but this is the kind of sunscreen that is good to use around the eyes if your eyelids area is really sensitive because the mineral sunscreens tend to be easier to tolerate there. And the fact that it's water resistant, it'll stay in place a little bit better and not weep into your eyes. This stick is a hybrid sunscreen, um, SPF 50 and water resistant. Now sticks, you have to do multiple passes because they are prone to skip areas. They can be handy for applying around the eyes as well. And the stick is 488. Equate Sport SPF 50 is an organic, AKA chemical water resistant sunscreen. This one does have fragrance but it's a pretty good value otherwise at 488 for the eight ounces. This shouldn't leave a cast, but it may sting around the eyes. So baby oil is essentially mineral oil with fragrance. And one use for baby oil, if you have a baby with cradle cap, cradle cap is dandruff in, in an infant. 
and it will go away with no treatment. It will go away. It doesn't require treatment, but if baby has like a really flaky scalp, you can massage a little bit of mineral oil into their scalp before bath time and it will help dislodge those flakes gently. So oftentimes I will recommend if you have flaky skin, your skin is exfoliating from like a chemical peel or a topical, you're getting a lot of peely skin. Um, I will often recommend massaging a little bit of oil over the area to help gently dislodge that, those mounds of flakes. And the same principle is what we recommend when counseling parents on, you know, little tips that they can use to help with the cradle cap. The other thing is to get one of those soft bristle baby brushes and gently comb. Don't, don't be real aggressive or pick at the cradle cap, but just gently um, comb through, especially if you've done a little baby oil massaged into the area first. That'll also help get rid of those flakes. Diaper rash cream can be really helpful if you deal with chafing under the arms and the skin folds. This Aquatian one is a great option. Zinc oxide is protective and, and it's also anti-inflammatory, fragrance-free. It has oat in it, which is good for the moisture barrier. It has um, anti-inflammatory compounds and this product also has ceramides. This brand is underrated all in all, $3.50. I bet you could try using this on the face too, if you wanted to. I've never used it that way, but it's a good barrier cream. Here we have Vicks humidifiers. Now, obviously people like to put Vicks in there and aerosolize that when they have a, a head cold or whatever, but just a cool mist humidifier, just with water and no scent, none of these vapo pads, it actually can help cut down on dry skin. The problem with aerosolizing Vicks VapoRub is that it can be irritating to the skin, especially cause an eyelid dermatitis because it has compounds in it that are relatively common allergens. That being said, Vicks VapoRub actually um, is helpful for toenail fungus. Um, used on the toenails, it can help clear toenail fungus. It's odd how it might work. That and Listerine. Yeah, Listerine can help cut down on toenail fungus as well. It's either the menthol, the thymol, maybe the eucalyptol. Those are all in vapor rub too. Check it out. Dove has these new plant milk cleansing bars. Interesting. Macadamia milk and willow lavender. Although if you have atopic dermatitis, eczema, you might want to stick with a fragrance-free body wash. Speaking of which, I've recently been trying out this new one from Lubriderm, their Advanced Therapy Body Wash. It's really good. It's similar actually to Aveeno's um, eczema body wash that I recommend, the fragrance-free body wash. It has oat, er oat kernel oil, which is anti-inflammatory and moisturizing. It has ceramide. It's free of fragrance. I've really been happy with this and their moisturizer. They have a body moisturizer, a lotion, that's really good too. If you are dealing with ringworm or impetigo, I would definitely bail on these because they can spread those skin infections to other body sites and it can make it much harder to get rid of. So bail on these um, if you are dealing with those conditions and just stick to plain washcloths and make sure you wash them after each use. Um, and another tip for either ringworm on the body or um, impetigo, staph skin infections, is when you get out, towel dry the skin with a towel just for the area where you have the active infection and then use a different towel for the rest of your body so you don't spread either the fungus or the bacteria to other body sites. Like that's a common issue actually. People deal with like athlete's foot and they spread the fungus from their feet up to like their groin. Rock has these retinol correction deep target, deep wrinkle targeted patches. These little micro dart patches or micro cones in theory help enhance the penetration of the retinol, the hyaluronic acid and the peptides into the skin for wrinkles. But my understanding is uh, it's actually difficult to suspend the ingredients um, well onto those little darts. So to what extent it actually ends up working for you, difficult to say, but Roth is a pretty good brand overall. This is new, Olay Night Eye Cream with retinol and niacinamide. 
look up to 10 years younger. Olay is getting bolder and bolder. Like I was joking last time we went to Target how they just have put random like hyaluronic. They don't even bother to name these anymore. Vitamin C. I, I, I don't know. I kind of like the attitude they're giving us. But the, the, here they just go really bold and they're like, look 10 years younger. So retinol around the eyes can help improve the appearance of crow's feet. And niacinamide is really good for the moisture barrier and also for um, combating oxidative stress. This appears to be free of fragrance, which is good around the eyes. I've reviewed these before in prior Shop With Me videos. They came out last year. The day eye cream has caffeine in it instead of retinol. So caffeine can depuff and temporarily brighten the under eye area. $30 for each of these? I don't know about that. The Equate version of CeraVe cream is actually pretty good and it's $10.98 or 68.6 .6 cents per ounce versus $1.04 .04 per ounce. Don't sleep on the baby skincare section though. They often have hidden gems in here. Speaking of cradle cap, this is a really good shampoo for babies with cradle cap or for adults with seborrheic dermatitis. It can even be used as a face wash if you get seborrheic dermatitis patches on the face. It's zinc pyrithione, dipotassium glycerizate, from licorice root, anti-inflammatory, good for soothing the redness, and it's fragrance free. See, earlier I was talking about using a soft bristle baby brush. They have a special little gizmo here for doing that. This would work. Love this from Aveeno. It's really good as a body moisturizer, the eczema therapy balm, no fragrance, colloidal oatmeal. This is also a good face and body wash for babies or for adults. This Dove, um, sensitive skincare wash is a good option too. It's free of fragrance, mild, tear-free. I really like this Honest Company Healing Head to Toe Ointment. Um, it's not petroleum jelly, but it, it goes on really thick. It's Allentoin, which is a skin protectant, as well as shea butter and sunflower seed oil. This is really good. It's a really good skin protectant. Honest Company also has this Rock the Bump Body Butter, basically a fragrance-free moisturizer, shea butter, avocado oil, sunflower seed wax, castor seed oil. You know, your skin can be quite dry in pregnancy, can become dry, prone to eczema actually. And there's some idea that regarding stretch marks, just the act of massaging moisturizer on the skin may help in preventing them. but. It's, it's really difficult to prevent stretch marks. There's really nothing reliable that you could do to prevent them. Some people just make them and you know, there's not much you can do, but there is some idea that if you just use a moisturizer, like with hyaluronic acid especially has been shown to be helpful or maybe with centella, um, it may be helpful for preventing them. Now, if you have stretch marks and you're not pregnant, retinol may also help, but retinol is not indicated during pregnancy. So there's that. Roid balm. This is for hemorrhoids. Uh, so this has witch hazel in it. Witch hazel actually can is an astringent. It can soothe hemorrhoids and it has uh, vasoconstrictive properties that may help reduce their size a bit. Olive oil, beeswax, plantain leaf extract. As I kind of indicated earlier, you have to be careful putting stuff in that area. It can end up leading to a lot of irritation just because the nature of the skin there. Well guys, Walmart did not disappoint. Uh, they had a lot of good finds here today. I hope you enjoyed this Shop With Me video. If so, on the end slate, I'm going to link one of my last Walmart Shop With Me videos. But if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.